Hello everyone and welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. In one of our prior lessons named How to be better at scripting, lesson number N052, we have received one of the comments from a user named Paizo and what she says is for the first part you could also use collection service, add tags to every part and have it all handled in one single script. That sounds like a very good idea. So user Paizo, thank you so much for sharing that idea. So for our viewers, if you're watching a video and you know of a better way to do certain things or maybe a different way to do certain things, please do post a comment and let us know. This way we all, everyone in the group can learn from it and we all can be better scripters. And now let's go to studio and let's take a look at how we can use collection service in Roblox. Okay, so now I'm back inside Studio and this is the same experience that we have used in that video. So we have four pills and each of those pill is gonna give us a, a thousand points when we touch the pill. Now the first thing that you need to use collection service is to download a tag editor. So let's go to our toolbox and we're going to select in the drop down here, we're going to select plugins. And in the search box, enter tag editor. You can see that right now we only have one choice. So just click on that. So this tag editor is by Sweet Hardichoke. Just click install. It should take only like a few seconds. So mine is installed. That, that took about three seconds. You can close this window here. In case you click install in studio and it doesn't work, you can right click on this tag editor and view in browser. And, and then click install over here. Sometimes it doesn't work in the studio, in studio, but it works over here in the browser. Anyway, if it worked in studio, then you don't need to do this step. Once the tag editor is installed, you can go back into Studio, click on Plugins, and there should be a section called Instance Tagging, and you, sh you should see two buttons. The first one is Tag Window, and the second one is World View. Before we get into the tagging the uh, objects, let's do some cleanup here. So currently we have all the pills and a script inside a model. Let me first move the script into server script service. So let me rename the script. Let's call it pills script or just pills. Next thing I want to do is I want to ungroup these so they don't need to be in the group anymore. So I'm just going to right click on the model and ungroup. And now let's take a look at how we can tag our parts. So here I have the four pills that I want to tag. First thing I want to do is I want to click on tag window. A little window pops up here. I can enter a new tag here. So let's enter pills for my first tag. And I'm going to create a second tag. I'm going to call it pill tag for my second tag. So now I have two different tags. Let's, let's first, I'm going to pick the first tag up here and I'm going to select these two pills to be tagged as pill tag. So now the, this one and this one are tagged with pill tag. Now for the second tag, I'm going to pick the second two, the, uh, the third and the fourth pill. Let me just close this window here. And I'm going to select pills. So now the, the third and the fourth pill is being tagged with pills. How can you tell which pill is being tagged with which tag? You can click on the world view here. So as you can see, they have different color. Um, the first, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the first and the third is kind of red. The uh, second and the fourth is like purple. And you can set the color in here. So if I click on pill tag, I can change the color here. 
So uh, if we pick a different color, maybe we can see it better. Maybe make it bright yellow. Submit. And there it is. So now this one, these two are yellow and these two are purple. Another way to tell which one is being tagged on the pill tag is you click on tag instances here and it tells you which one are being tagged under this tag. So if you click here, you can see it's this one, which is, I, I'm, I'm not sure I cannot see it in here because I have the world view here. If I close the world view, so that one is this one right here. And the second one is this one right here. All right, so th those are two different ways you can see which part is being tagged with which tag, either by using the world view and look at the color, or you can turn off the vo world view and you can see it. you can see which one is which by selecting them from the list here. All right, so now let's click back. Now in this case, we only need one tag. So let's remove uh, one tag. So I'm gonna remove this pill tag here. I'm just gonna delete it, confirm. And now I wanna select all four pills. So I, I wanna tag all four of these into this one tag. So I'm just gonna click this box here. You see there's a minus sign. So it means that some of them are tagged and some are not. I'm just gonna click on it. So now there's a checkbox. They're all tagged with pills. Let's take a look uh, at the world view to make sure. You see they're all purple. And if you hover your mouse over it, the, the cursor over it, it tells you like what tag is being tagged with what tag the part is being tagged with. All right, so that's how we tag our parts. Now all four pills has been tagged. This is the tag name, pills. We can close this window. And now let's go to our script, the, the pill script that we moved to the service script service. We're gonna make a change to make it work in this case. So what I have here is the old script from the previous lesson where we, we had the model and we get all the children inside the model and uh, we add the touch event to each of those parts and we're giving the player a thousand points when they touch the part. Now we're going to change this to use the collection service. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to need to declare the collection service. So let's enter local and we'll call it collection service for our variable. We'll set it equal to game colon get service. And the name of the service is collection service. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the get tag function from this collection service. So let's declare a local variable, local, and let's call it pills equal to collection service colon get tag and the name of our tag is pills so what this is gonna do is it's gonna get all the objects that are tagged with pills and it's gonna return them in the form of an array into this variable called pills it's very similar to the get children here so we can remove this line here and literally pills children here is the same as pills here. The only difference is pills children has the script in it and pills here does not have the script because we only tag these four pills. So pills here only have these four pills in it. So we can go down here. We don't need to check for the script anymore. I can remove this line and I can remove the end statement here that goes with the if statement. Let me just reformat my document. And I'm gonna change, instead of pills children here, now we call them pills. So I'm just gonna change this to pills. Let's review our code to make sure everything works. So first thing we do is we declare the collection service where we're gonna use the get tag function to get all the items that are tagged with pills. That's, that's the tag name. And we return them in the form of an array into the variable 
variable pills, where we're going to iterate through that variable to get each of those elements. And for each of those elements, we're going to add a touch event to them. We're, we're passing in port B, which is the part that touches the, uh, the pill. And we're passing in which pill is being touched to this function. In this function, we're going to destroy that pill. And then we're going to give the player 1,000 points. So now let's play and take a look. There are my pills. I'm going to go and grab one, see what happened. And I got 1,000 points. I'm going to try them all. Another 1,000 points, 3,000, 4,000. Notice again, none of our pills has any script in them. The only script that we have for those pills is in the service script service. Now, if you should decide that collection service is not for you, you can go to the plugins menu and click on manage plugins and go to your tag ed editor, click on the three dots here and uninstall. It's gone. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. And this is the end of our lesson on collection service in Roblox. Take care and we hope to see you again soon.